to go. Let's be violent. We've got to go. Two, four, six, eight. No more silence. No more rape. No more silence. No more rape. So planning for this started fairly early. Um, we had 20 co-sponsors, which is actually the record number of co-sponsors we've ever had for this event. And what was really cool was we had a lot of different student organizations sponsor. We had fraternities, sororities, religious organizations, academic departments, health-related organizations, a lot of areas that you wouldn't normally see us collaborate with, which I thought was especially important for us to collaborate with for this event because in particular this issue is so important for us as a campus to come together on. I was really nervous at the beginning of the event because I was not sure if we were going to get as many people as we had registered on CORE which was 70. We actually ended up with close to 150 people here which was super exciting including the president of the university which so grateful he came. Um, we started with just a general discussion and storytelling of several public survivors of sexual assault and domestic violence. From there, we had a representative of VOICE, the local domestic violence shelter and service provider in our area, come and speak about their organization. Every year, this event not only happens to raise awareness of issues of domestic violence and sexual assault, but it also acts as a fundraising event and a benefit event for voice so that we can help support their efforts in our community. After our voice representative finished speaking, we actually turned the microphone over to an SRU student who then herself told her own experience with domestic violence and sexual assault in her own words. From there, we had a candlelight vigil for all victims of sexual violence and domestic assault who have sadly lost their lives to these types of crimes. And then after that, we went on a short march around campus, um, which was so good. I felt that it was important to share my story because I didn't gain the courage to even go to the police without the stories of so many other women. I mean, the Me Too movement is such an impactful movement because it makes victims of sexual assault, regardless of gender, um, feel less alone. It's such an isolating experience because you feel shameful of what happened to you. And for years I dealt with like shame, even though like it's not my fault, like I was a child when it happened. It should be shameful for the per perpetrators, I think I said that right, people who rape and sexually assault. 